Hi, I'm Granthi. Welcome to our drive. Uh, Mindwaves come up with the four new concept vehicles and Velusan is with us. Uh, Hi, talk Gandhi. more about that. Thank you so much uh, for uh, talking to us, Velusan. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, let's talk about the, the platform. Uh, what's new in this NU? So we explained that uh, this platform comes with uh, multiple new concepts. We call it as an intelligent uh, concepts that differentiates our products from the rest of the compact segment products. So number one is the space uh, that we liberate. Uh, so therefore, if you see the, the second row leg room, it's the industry leading leg room. Normally, that is the compromised one. Uh, the other thing that you see is the, the performance uh, in terms of ground clearance, in terms of approach angles, uh, in terms of flexibility to have the electric vehicles, ice vehicles, uh, all of them is specific. Because we have raised the ground clearance for the Indian market, we wanted to have the best ride quality, so we are bringing in the five-link suspension. In this, in, in this segment, you never have a five-link suspension uh, anywhere in the, uh, in the international market, also the domestic market. So we bring in the filing suspension and the damper technology that holds the vehicle lock solid. So you get best ride and handling, you get best crash performance, you get the best the cabin uh, the space, and that's the idea, apart from the luggage space. So we have shortened the engine compartment, yet we were able to we are able to meet all the crash norms of, and with the five star rating. So therefore we were forced to find innovations. And those are the innovations that you saw in my presentations. They are close to 101 patents, but that is an industry-leading uh, shorter engine compartment, a longer passenger compartment, a longer luggage compartment compared to any car in the industry so far. So having uh, the best ride and handling. So that's the short summary. So, so if you talk about the the platform, uh, you said that. This will this will be like multi multi uh, energy kind of multi fuel uh, uh, powertrain. So that means uh, uh, this will also have hybrid uh, petrol diesel. So how, it's how, ice how look right it? now, ice, yeah. and then electric. Our focus is ice and electric right now. Not so the hybrid that's, one. Not the hybrid. Uh, so there is a started position from our board uh, that whenever there is a need for hybrid, we will come with that. But right now our focus is on ice and electric. So how different is this uh, platform or uh, this uh, uh, setup from the EVs, we, whether it's B or XCV? How different are so they So EVs uh, uh, platform, you have to always look from the vehicle length yeah. uh, perspective. So if you take a 4.7 meter vehicles like XCV 700s, uh, typically it is better to have a rear wheel drive if it is EV because you are pushing it. Um, in a compact, 4 and 4.2, it's 700 millimeters lower, it's a short vehicle. Uh, anything between 2,000 kilos down to 1,500 kilos. Uh, the rear overhang is not that much, so therefore you don't try to put the motor there. So you put the motor in the front. Naturally also, with a 1,500 kilos, front wheel motor is sufficient enough to pull it, uh, pull it well. So naturally it coincides. So in the front engine compartment, either, either you can put an engine or you can put an uh, ice, uh, ice engine and an electric engine that you can put in. So therefore, it coincides there. Therefore, in a compact uh, platform or the vehicles, you don't need two different architectures for a born electric uh, EVs and born electric ice. You don't need it. Mm. And, and therefore, you need it only when you have to drive it from the rear. That's a, okay. And uh, any, any commonality uh, uh, with the existing I mean, existing products you have. So this is a new product. platform that we have so, developed. It. So everything uh, is. Of course, we have improvised from the existing 3XO platform. Uh, but the, the, the 3XO platform was designed about 12 years ago, uh, where the modern crash norms of uh, A and cap, E and cap, G and cap are beginning to come at that point in time, and, and therefore this platform considers. Uh, way different approaches to meet those norms and, and therefore the structures. Light weighting is one of the key, uh, otherwise the, uh, the agility of the platform, the split air performance will not be there. So which one is the mo uh, most complex for you to uh, work? Of course the 4.3 will be the most complex uh, uh, because you have to make sure that the sub 4 meter or the 4.3 
is not compromised with respect to its benchmark. So, if you satisfy the 4.3, and then the automatically the 4 meter gets the benefit. So that's the. And have you finalized or shortlisted the, the battery pack or the uh, capacity? So range or yes. So we have, of course we have to do the engineering. So we should package everything. Uh, during launch, we will let you know what the battery sizes and ranges and all those stuff. But we have said it's a flat flow, and therefore you just just put on the battery. Right. One one feature which I saw in the video, I'm not sure uh, whether it was intentional or not. But uh, a, you mentioned that you will be reducing the number. I mean, you will have a good balance of uh, physical switches, buttons, and the uh, yes. controls in the screen. But uh, we also saw the vertical screen. I mean, that's also an option in some of the vehicles. So some uh, vehicles like this, uh, Thor inspired Thor Sports, uh, people prefer it screen different. So it's a test. Okay. So it's a concept. It's a test. Um, the traditional customers of sub 4 meters, they prefer the screen screen. Right. So it's a test. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, good luck and uh, best of luck for the launch. Thank you. And we'll catch you again at the time of launch. Thank yes, you. thank you very much.